All right, here we go. So, getting back to racing action right here at Red River Co-op Speedway. And looks like we have the Power 97 Modifieds on the racetrack. The 99 car is Brody Strachan. He's out of Emo. Jordan Dure is in the 81. The two is, rather than say in the second row, the A1 is Ian Russo. And outside, Kevin Sexton. Inside row three, the 48 is Jerome Beal. The nine is Lee McRae. And the 5G is Scott Greer out of East St. Paul. Good racing action here in your Power 97 Modified Division. The 81 car, Jordan Dury started second, is now first. Lee McRae has been having a great couple of weeks here in the Modified Division in the Big Ford. He is sponsored by Archangel Fireworks, Santana Kennels, and Johnny McRae Trucking. And that Ford right now currently is in the second spot. In the third spot, currently Scott Greer. He's moved a long way. He started dead last, is now third. Kevin Sexton in the custom EDM Simpsons transfer 57. In the fourth spot. Greer now on the outside of the Ford, number nine. That's a good battle in turn three and four. Just a safety announcement to make, ladies and gentlemen. We ask that you please keep the kids away from the fence in turn number four. Actually, all along the front straightaway fence. Safety is first, so please stay away from the fence when the cars are running. Three to go. Nice job by Lee McRae. He's on the bottom and looking good. Todd's Electric 81 not given up just yet, however, as he goes in side by side with the number nine in turn number one and two. Now they go down the back straight away. Look at the horsepower here. It is a drag race into turn three. White flag is out, one to go. Checkered flag, what a race, it looks like Greer gets it. That of course is unofficial. We will check our official transponder systems, but I will tell you what a finish there. It looked like the 5G of Scott Greer making the pass at the finish line. So it was the five, the 81, and the nine car in the top three. That is now official here in your Power 97 modified division. What a finish, wow. Let's say you're looking for the best waste company in the market. One that has trashed the competition not five, not six, but seven years in a row as the best in the business. Know who I'm talking about? Think silver trucks and green bins. That's right, Johnson Waste Management. Not bad for a locally owned family business fighting it out in the alley with fat cats. Johnson Waste Management, doing their best to be the very best. Okay, we move to our second of three modified heat events. Here's how they line up a visitor from Grand Rapids, Minnesota, starting on the pole of 45J. This is Johnny Broking. Outside of him, the 33 car. Out of Stratton, Ontario, this is Garrett Gamsby. Inside row two from St. Andrews, Manitoba, it's Ryan Karolak in the Mark Brandt Trucking 29. Outside of him is the Regent Construction Miller Engines A1, number seven of Danny Staff. On row three, your current point leader, the number 10 of Ward Emery, and last night's winner, Gavin Paul in the 16.
Uh oh. The yellow flag out for Ryan Karolik. Looked like Kerlick's right rear quarter caved in a little bit. He might have had a little help there. You never know. We're going back to green, though. Ward Emery in the 10 car is your point leader heading into tonight. He's only got, he's got 23, 23 points on the veteran Kevin Sexton. And Ward Emery last night was leading the feature, I believe, and first or second. And had motor problems so they did a motor change last night and the 10 car is back and ready to roll today the 45 car broking that's his first trip to the track this year johnny broking on the pole and this one in the white 45 Ward Emery, the early leader, but Broking gets a little traction coming off of turn two, and he comes back after him. Broking up on the high side of the racetrack. Emery down where he likes it in the 10 car. This is the last points race of the year here at Red River Co-op Speedway. And... Uh, the winner of this heat race starts on the outside of the front row in the modified main event. Gavin Paul in the black 16. He was the main event winner in the modified class last night. It was a great race all the way to the end and Gavin Paul picked up the checkered. half a straightaway on his nearest competition. Broking is second in the 45. The race is for third place between Gavin Paul in the 16 and the seven of Danny Staff. Gavin Paul, who started sixth, moves into the third position. Danny Staff, who started fourth, is back to fourth right now. What a great race, the seven car and the 16. Gavin Paul in the 16 and the seven of Danny South having a great race here as they switch positions. Your leader in the 10 car to the white flag, that is Ward Emery. coming through three and four to the checkers he started fifth and he's your winner how about a big hand for Ward Emery in the 10 car second spot will go to Johnny Broking Johnny started first and ends up second Gavin Paul started sixth and finishes third fourth goes to Danny Staff in the Number seven and rounding out the top five, the 33 car. That is Garnet Gamsby. As we get set to go for heat three in our modified division, once again, the winner of this one will start third in the main event. We encourage you to get a 50-50 prize. I was just talking to a couple of the Delane boys. They tell me we're well on our way to a big fat 50-50 prize tonight. And you know, if you're not in, you can't win. So be sure and 
get your money out and get in on the draw. Somebody went home with around, was it, seven or 800 last night, and they tell me it's going to be much better tonight. Heat three in the big Power F, what do they call it these days? Power 97 modifieds. The 24 is the pole sitter. He's sponsored by Jansen Chevrolet in Winkler. This is the 24 of James Wall. To his outside, the 36, a rookie in this division. He raced B mods before, but he is racing A mods now. This is the 36 of Ryan Cousins. He's a rookie in the A mod division. Inside on road two, the 85D is Jeff Davis. Outside of Jeff Davis, a guy that raced here years ago, and it's nice to see him back. The number four is Greg Ferris. On row three, the one is Jeff Pritchard. The 45 is Bob Broking. Here we go. What they're driving on today, you call a slick track. It's just about like driving on ice. You've got to have a real good feel. So you're not spinning the tires, because if you start spinning those tires, you start going backwards. Greg Ferris in the Just For Fun number four. He's up front and looking to move around the outside of the 36 car of Cousins. Broking catches the play and he goes up there as well. So we have a new leader this time by the four of Greg Ferris. Broking gives him the big slide. Let's see if he can make it stick. Here comes a four of Ferris looks to the inside, but it looks like Broken has the number one spot. It's not in the books yet, but uh, he's got a pretty good lead. What a race for third place, Ryan Cousins in the 36 and the 85 of Jeff Davis doing a heck of a job. Two to go. The 45 is Bob Broking. He started in the sixth spot, and he is your leader. Just for fun, Greg Ferris, number four. White flag out. One to go. Checkered flag for Bob Broking. Bob Broking grabs the grabs a win. He comes to us from Grand Rapids, Minnesota. And he started sixth in that race and ends up our winner in the Power 97 Modifieds. And the Modifieds, of course, they must go across the scale and weigh no less. Well, I thought I had that written down somewhere. I think it's 24.50. That is heat three in the big Power 97 FM Modifieds. We move now to the street stock division. And while we have a moment, I'd like to say thank you to some signboard sponsors. Those folks include exclusive bus lines, fast lane freight services, Fillmore Riley LLP, HB Electric, Interstate Batteries, JMS Motorsports, LaSalle Insurance, Pepsi Cola, Pioneer Window and Door, RM Auto Tech, Enzymes, Trans Tech Industries, and West Trans. So here's Heat One in the Street Stock Division as we get our top three across the scale. Each heat race, 